never thought my life could be anything but catastrophe. But suddenly I begin to see a bit of good luck for me. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I'm excited because I'm going to be trying some products from EcoSlay. If you recall, I have done a video on EcoSlay before, and I really enjoyed the products. They were nice enough to send me some products that are newer to the line for me to try and review on the channel. So let me show you what they sent. The first thing they sent me was the Ginger and Moringa Tea Rinse. This is a hair treatment that is going to improve your moisture retention and shine. Um, it says within a week, you'll observe increased style, longevity, manageability, and strength. These benefits and others will continue to pile up with each use. So this is in a 12 ounce container and it's called Ginger and Moringa Tea Rinse. The second thing they sent is the plant-based matcha boost protein shake with quinoa and keratin. This is a protein treatment with quinoa and keratin hydrolyzed protein. This comes in an eight ounce container. And last but not least, they sent me the Jello Shot Gel. This is their brand new gel. It just came out at the end of April and it is supposed to be for rebellious curls. It says, Eagle Slay's Jello Shot easily allows the most textured tresses to achieve long-lasting frizz-free results. With okra, aloe, nettle, and chamomile, this super thick, nutrient-rich formula delivers a firm hold with loads of shine. I tried the orange marmalade gel, which is a really good gel, but I found that it didn't give me the amount of definition that I wanted. So I'm excited for this one. I'm not going to be trying all of these products today. I am going to try the Jello Shot though. And I'm also going to use the Peppermint Schnapps Hair Wash to wash my hair. And I'm going to deep condition with the Banana Cream Deep Conditioner. This is a really good deep conditioner. And if you want to know what I thought about it, then watch my last video, which I will attach in the cards. One thing that I overlooked completely is that they said that you can use this deep conditioner as a leave-in. So I'm not sure if that is one of the reasons why I didn't get exactly what I wanted from the orange marmalade gel, but we'll see because this time I'm going to use this as a leave-in underneath the Jello shot. So I want to first thank Eco Slay for sending me these products and I'm going to go and wash my hair and deep condition it and I will be back when I am ready to use the Jello Shot. Stay tuned.
Okay, so I got it all throughout my hair and it still has to dry, but it's looking really good. It definitely defined my curls. I want to touch it a lot because you know, when you touch your hair a lot after you put the product in, then it just starts to frizz. But I just have it going back right now because this is how I'm going to let it dry. It's very curly. It's super curly, super defined. And it feels light, which is great. And I feel like my curls are elongated, but it doesn't feel heavy. So you can see there's movement. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna give it a chance to dry and everything like that. And I'll come back and I will give you my final thoughts on the brand new Eco Slay Jello Shot Gel. Okay, so it's actually been about three or four days. I had intentions on coming back the next day to show you guys what my hair was looking like after I put in the Eco Slay, but a lot has been going on and I haven't had to leave the house or anything, so I've been kind of just wearing this. Let's take it off and see what it's looking like. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to reactivate the product because I haven't put anything on there since I put the product in. So it's reactivating really well. I normally wear a part, but today I'm not going to. Well, all I'm doing is just going through reactivating the product it has a good amount of definition there. And it is not hard. I watched a couple of other videos where they said that it was a little bit crunchy when it dried. Mine is not crunchy at all. But it does have some holes, which is good. The reason why it may not be crunchy is because I use the banana cream conditioner underneath it as a leave-in. I wanted to test it to see if that would actually help because when I used the orange marmalade gel, it actually didn't come out the way that I wanted. Um, but this one is much better. I'm not really trying to do a lot because I'm not going out right now, but I am gonna put a little bit of edge control. I have this style factor, which is the edge control that I'm liking the most right now. Gonna put some of that on the edges. My hair has really grown out of the shape that it used to have. I'm at a point right now where I'm trying to figure out <laughs> whether I'm going to just let it grow all the way out or get another cut. What? I am able. We will see about that. I've been really thinking about it because I like short hair. I like long hair too though. So I'm really confused about it. <laughs> I enjoyed the process of having short hair. After you're done with your wash and go, you just want to make sure that you fluff it out the way that you want. So it is at your desired state of fluff <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. But this product, I like the way it feels in my hair. So I definitely say it's a keeper. So there we go. A nice wash and go. It's curly, it's defined, it is not crunchy, and there is no flaking. 
Okay, to sum everything up, I used the Peppermint Schnapps Hair Wash. And then I went in with the Banana Cream Deep Conditioner. And I sat under my heat cap, which I usually do for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I came back and I added some more Banana Cream Deep Conditioner as a leave-in. And then I went in with their brand new Jello Shot Gel, which is great. Jello Shot Gel is supposed to be for rebellious curls. Comes in a 12 ounce container and I really like it. Eagle Slay is a great company. It's black owned, it's female owned, and they are very eco-friendly. After you use your product, they will send you a box so you can send the containers back to them so that they can recycle them. So I think that's a really great thing because we use so much product and then we just throw away the containers and it's very, very wasteful. But they are very conscious of that and they are doing their part to protect the environment. So as far as the Jello Shot Gel goes, it is a yes for me. I really did like the way that it worked with my hair. I'm looking at it right now and it just looks really good. Um, the curls look nice. Everything came out well. I do recommend that you incorporate the banana cream conditioner underneath it for a leave-in. I do think that this played a role in it not being um, crunchy. I do think that this product is worth your time. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, if you have not subscribed yet, please take the time to do so. And I will see you in the next one.